All right, we're here at Elevation Studios, uh, Saturday morning. It's about 10 o'clock, and this is Jake, and this is Morgan. And um, Jake's going to take us through this, this amazing facility here real quick before we do some work. Sure. Well, this is our control room. Um, it's it's kind of neat. We, we, we kind of built it, uh, you know, custom to, to our needs. We've got some, some uh, modern stuff, some really old stuff, and... Uh, we really like it here. It's a comfortable place to work. Yeah. So for some of the gearheads, could you just like throw out some? Yeah, which sure. is not me, but no, <laughs> to absolutely. be honest, I won't um, know what any of this stuff yeah, is. Yeah, it's pretty but. basic. Uh, the the main console is is a, is a Toft ADB, which is a recent construction. It's it's not you know um, it's not old, uh, but it's uh, not like you know old is the qualifier for good. But sometimes <laughs> with audio, people think uh, that that's the case. But no, it's it's a, you know it's what it's kind of centered around. Nice EQs on it. Um, over here is uh, a 1969 Langevin console that I bought off of a friend. Or mixer, I should say. It's, I don't think it's big enough to qualify for a console. <laughs> but it's a, yeah, it's a line mixer. Um, this is our 8-track 1-inch machine, the big beast, Ooh. called R2-D2. <laughs> this is when it showed up. That's one of the guys associated with the studio thought uh, it looked like. We can make it sound like R2-D2, too. Really? Yeah, sure. That's how they got the sound, backwards backwards tape. Oh, wow. Um, you know, some compressors, some reverbs, some delays, things like that. Some preamps. <laughs> I don't know if you want me to get how specific. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. no, my, my brother will get a kick out of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> He's an engineer. Yeah. I so, think he'll recognize some of those. He'll be like, um, that's what you would call it. Sure. Some old limiters. These are old uh, Alltech uh, uh, multiband limiters. And uh, this is a project in the... Oh, my It works. Heavens. Some of it What does works. that do? It's a gain brain. These are, these are two compressors, and these are all uh, gates. A lot of gating is done inside the box now. Oh. But these are analog gates. Um, really kind of bizarre compressors. Um, they were used a lot in the 70s. Um, there's a tube echoplex in here. Ooh. So if anybody wants to get their Jimmy Page on. Um, <laughs> the most important piece of gear in the whole studio is the Funky Magi. Because without him, no session uh, would be funky. So we got to plug him in. Oh, I like that. Yep. His alt, uh, evil alter ego. How do yeah, that's a, <laughs> call him. that's a... That's a head engineer. Brandy. That is wicked spooky. Yeah, we call him Brandy Tooth. <laughs> He's just got the one tooth. Oh, yeah. As a result of years of heavy living and engineering, this, this life will mess anybody up. Um, R2 Junior, which is our oh. two-track machine, this is we mix. I mix down to this. Oh, cool! Um, and we use it for tape delay a lot for guitar and vocals. We'll use it for tape delay. Nice. Um, when it won't, I did when we want a different flavor from that one. So then we'll step into uh, live room. At the tallest point, it's I think the ceilings are 28 feet, 27, 28 feet. I haven't measured it. Uh, in a while, but I think that's what it was, and we think at some point there was some like kind of pneumatic machine in here yeah. that was you know go up and down. Um, yeah, so a really nice live but controlled environment in here. Drums sound really fantastic. Strings sound particularly fantastic in here. <laughs> um, old upright piano that definitely sounds saloon and barrel house, despite our. Efforts to, we got to tune every once in a while, and it sounds good for a little bit, but it being an old piano, yeah. it definitely has a lot of character, it has a lot of cool pop textures, and I've just betrayed the fact that I can't play piano. <laughs> um, Neither can I. Back here is, this is a plate reverb, it's an echo plate too. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it's a beast, and nothing sounds like it. And uh, yeah, a lot of you know classic recordings will have the plate reverb on it, you'll, you, you'll hear that. Um, you'll see them less and less in studios, but I really like it. I like using it. It, it finds its way onto almost every recording that I do because I'm in love with it. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a physical thing. I've always heard of plate reverb, but yeah, never knew it was actual. Oh, it's, oh, try to move one. They're very physical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's incredibly physical, for sure. Um, some old keyboards, an old Korg from the 70s and the, the Wurlitzer. Um, yeah, and then, you know, we have an isolation room in here. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is harder to get a lay of. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know. It's roomier than most that I, <laughs> I like. Yeah, you know, we actually sometimes, when people want a deader drum sound, because sometimes, oh, really? sometimes it's not always appropriate to have the drums in there. Yeah. So we've done a couple records where we have the drummer in here and you get kind of a, 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 a you know, dead drum yeah. sound, for lack yeah. of uh, more colorful adjectives. So, yeah. That's Stable of amplifiers over there? Yeah, a bunch of amplifiers. 
Um, all for all, all flavors, I guess. You can go super metal or super funky, <laughs> everything in between. Or if you want the big sound, and I'm not joking, the Squire SP10. What the? Well, yeah, because sometimes that's a that's I, I put a bass guitar through there. Believe it or not, and recorded that. Really? Was, well, because it it will distort. You could probably put a, a ukulele with one string on it, and it's going to distort just because oh, it has right. no headroom. So it breaks up in a particularly crappy fashion <laughs> that can add a lot of cool color to a recording, you know. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Wow. So. Spectacular. Yeah, I think that's... Well, thank you very much. That was yeah. very cool.